All right. Last Monday, Stephen Colbert tore into Donald Trump like a giant orange burrito. Now, before I roll the tape, I must warn you that it's very lewd, so turn it up so everyone can hear it. You attract more skinheads than free Rogaine. You have more people marching against you than cancer. You talk like a sign language gorilla who got hit in the head. In fact, the only thing your mouth is good for is being Vladimir Putin's holster. Mm. Now, of course, we had to bleep it, but you get the joke. He said Trump was having sex with Putin. Was it offensive? I don't know. I've done worse. Often for money, in a hotel room, dressed up as Peter Pan. <laughs> Predictable outrage ensued with demands that Colbert be fired. Two days later, he responded. If you saw my monologue on Monday, uh, you know that I was a little upset with Donald Trump for insulting a friend of mine. So, at the end of that monologue, I had a few choice insults for the president in return. I don't regret that. So while I would do it again, I would change a few words that were cruder than they needed to be. Mm. So I didn't regret the joke, only the language. Again, I don't care. It's jokes, words. If you don't like it, don't listen. But I hope one day those other guys might say the same thing for me. See, Colbert has afforded something I will never have, liberal joke protection. If your heart's in the right place and mine is always in the wrong, then you can say what you want as long as your joke matches the assumptions of your peers. I will never demand an apology, but one will always be demanded from me. It's painfully obviously, but if, obvious, but if I made the same joke about President Obama, I'd be frog-marched into the Atlantic with anvils around my neck. But that's okay. I'll defend those who may never defend me because I'm a nice guy and they're all <laughs> Andrew, have you ever been in a situation like this before? No. Uh, it's just, does this infuriate you? It doesn't. It's just like everybody's a sissy. I accept that it. it's fine. I'm cool with it. But this is all the time on Twitter I get into these things. Yes, I've seen it with it's, you. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it happens. Um, I, I really don't care what yeah. he said. I'm, I'm only offended by things that aren't funny. <laughs> and, um, but I, I respect the attempt. Like, I, a lot of times I look at comedians as, like, uh, firemen. Mm -hmm. It's it's not your job to save them. <laughs> it's your job to try. Yes. So it's not our job to, you know what I mean? Like, when the firemen don't save the people in the burning building, you don't go, you're fired. <laughs> you know what I mean? You jerks, you know? I love how you're comparing comedians to Fireman. Listen, <laughs> I mean, that's, you're the real hero. We are. Listen, I do comedy every day. They're mostly just spinning around the pole. You know, so... <laughs> The, the point I'm trying to say, there it is, funny comedy things. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I am with the, I am with uh, going out there and with trying the joke. Did I think that what, what his rant was that funny? No, but go for it. Um, I think, you know, holstering is a new term yeah. that I'll use in my private life. <laughs> um, you know, that sounds like a lot of fun. And I've agreed not to say anything about penises in this segment. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Thank you for that. So I'm not going to say anything about it. Excellent. Sorry. <laughs> I, tell a comedian. This is a rule. This is a rule. You tell a comedian. You tell a comedian not to say something, yeah, yeah. and it turns a switch on on their brain that says, "Now I have to. Yeah. Now I have to." And it, I, if I went home and I didn't, then I would have done something yeah. wrong. Yeah, right. What can we but, say? A doodle do holster? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. But Thank here's you. the thing. Here's the thing. Yes. Stephen Colbert, he missed the point, mm -hmm. which is it wasn't that it was crude. It was that it was homophobic. Mm -hmm. He was going through a list of insults, and the thing that he reached for, that he thought would be the, the, the real grand slam, yep. was What's to make this comment. And remember what we were just listening to. He was comparing being gay to having cancer. Yeah. Or being but why a was it homophobic? Head. No, he wasn't really. I don't think it was homophobic. I, 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 think, I think that's it was, a it was big stretch as an insult. to say he was comparing being gay to having cancer. He, I mean, it was in the list of insults, and that no, was the punctuation. No, he's saying that holstering a foreign leader is bad, right. which I think we can all agree you yeah. shouldn't be You shouldn't holster a foreign, a foreign leader. leader. You can't trust them. <laughs> yeah. Also, the yeah. Nazi and, Rogaine uh, thing, yeah. like, Nazis want to be bald. They don't yeah. use Rogaine. That made no sense. Yes, it has yeah. somebody We're who... We're forgetting gorillas are people, too. I'm often compared to one whenever I lift or walk around the city. And for him to call a dog and say, can't sign language, is an outrage, okay? And,
the last, the last great gorilla got shot. There's another person, and not on my watch. Okay, sorry, I'm getting upset. Tie's too tight. I want to. All right, Pete Harambe. Leave gorillas alone. Cat. No, your your point about how if it was a Democrat, it'd be different. It was a Democratic president. I don't think it's so much that Donald Trump is a Republican, and that's why right. he felt it was okay to say it. I think it's more because Donald Trump is Donald Trump. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. made it very clear that he's a different kind of dude, yeah. and the rules don't really apply as much. No, but to wait him. a minute. Wait a minute. David Schuster, when he was over at MSNBC, he made some remarks that the Clintons were pimping out Chelsea. Oh, remember, I remember that? that. Yeah, and you know, pimp is a he did. He but that wasn't a comedian telling a joke. Right. That but, was I just. I mean, but pimp is a word you can actually use on television, and he got fired for it. So there are there is a double standard. And I think there is. Absolutely. And the other thing too is, you know, you always uh, uh, to to Andrew, if you you could answer this before sure. you move on, uh, without using the p word. I won't. <laughs> People always talk about like, oh, there are no edgy right wing comics, but there's you know, and but it's because edgy, as defined in the world of comedy, is something that Colbert would do. But if the, anybody on the right did it, they would be crucified. Of I course. would imagine. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mike Malice made a great point about this. He says uh, what the left does, and I'm saying this as a liberal, mm -hmm. is is what we do is uh, when we don't like somebody to avoid a debate, we make them radioactive. Right. Yeah. You're, you're a sexist. You're a homophobe. You're yep. an Islamophobe. Now I don't even have to engage with your ideas because yes. you're radioactive. Get away from me. When are you going to make me radioactive? Uh, right after a holstering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I walked into that one. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to get a call on Monday. <laughs> but you know what? It's worth it because so far it's been a great show.